Welcome back to Studio STL. Well, the STL Veg Girl got pretty excited about our next topic for today. It looks like the big brother to celery, but it's actually part of the artichoke family? Question yeah, mark? so it's it's part of the thistle family. Thistle family. Which is closely related, well, actually part of the sunflower family and also related to the artichoke. Okay. This is <laughs> there will be a quiz later. There will be a quiz, so pay attention, St. Louis. <laughs> What is this? Okay, so this is a vegetable. It's, it's usually, you're gonna find this in the Mediterranean. Um, and in French cooking, it's actually, I mean, it's something that people really look forward to, a delicacy, if you will. Hold this for a second oh, for wow. me. Wow, whoa, <laughs> this is pretty big. Yeah, and it's not something that you can just buy like half of. I found this at Deerberg's in De Pair, I'm sorry, in Brentwood a few days ago, and it is large and in charge, right? As you can see, and you can even see the, the similar shape of the artichoke here, but with that celery resemblance. Yeah, so cool. these are the stalks, and you know, it really looks like a, like a really rugged celery. And also like a also the the um, stalks of you know like a Swiss chard or mm -hmm. something. So what you want to do is grab a big knife and, and we'll, before I before you start cutting, what's yeah. the actual name of this beauty? Oh, we never even we talked did about it. That. I was gonna let you do the honors. <laughs> <laughs> so um, Cardoni or Cardone or Cardoon. It really depends on if you know if you want to Americanize it or Cardoon. <laughs> <laughs> or uh, uh, yeah, Cardoon, um, it, but in, in Italy, I do believe that it's Cardoon. Uh, I could be wrong, so if somebody wants to call me out, feel free, because I'm always up for an education. All right, so we're going to take a knife and just cut off one of these stalks. Now, this cannot be eaten raw. Okay. You want to talk? We were talking about tummy right, issues before. Right. Oh, girl, uh -uh. don't eat this raw. No, we won't see it for a week. Okay. So what you want? <laughs> what you want to do is take each one of these stalks. Now, there's it's a little bit labor intensive, but it's still it's worth it. It totally is worth it. Now, it's going to have like a potatoey sweet flavor. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. It's nice. So take a vegetable peeler, and there, there's you know it's very stringy. Okay. So you want to make sure you get through all of those strings and sometimes on the ends you might even have like these little thorns mm -hmm. so you want to cut those and then so let's just pretend I got through all these and all the strings are gone and it's all and it's nice all pretty. and beautiful and <laughs> cut it in the middle then take a little knife and cut off those sides I mean you got to really do a little bit of work and make sure that you get off a lot of this kind of extra skin in there and then eventually you can cut it any way you want and then, because you can see that it does oxidize, mm -hmm. if you're not cooking it right away, you want to make sure you keep it in some like so lemon it will start water. To turn. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So then, I learned something new today. And what do they do for us nutritionally? You know, there it's 94% water, and a like lot of celery. Yes, like celery. Um, it is a little bit higher in sodium, like celery, but it's just a naturally occurring, so it's okay. nothing you really have to worry about. A little bit of fiber, a little bit of protein even, because you know it's a vegetable. Um, and actually it has um, uh, folate in it, okay. so, so the precursor to folic acid. So then after you cut it and you know kind of clean it off, you wanna boil it for about 45 to 50 minutes. Okay, so not only is it labor intensive, it has a pretty long cook time. Yeah, exactly. So then if you just wanted to keep it like this, you could, well, you could eat it like this, but let's be real, no. We, yeah, we want to season it up, spice yeah. it up, give yeah. it some life. So exactly. what would you do after that? So you could, you could puree this into a beautiful soup. Ooh. You, you can do so much with it because it's actually, it's, it's a little bit almost rubbery at this okay. point. So what you want to, what I've done is I've used the air fryer mm -hmm. And create, so this is aquafaba. This is the juice from a can of garbanzo beans. Okay. It's nice and starchy, just like eggs. So put it right there mm -hmm. in the aquafaba into the flour of your choosing back into the aquafaba. And which flour did you choose? This was just a whole wheat flour. Perfect. So whatever you want. And then this is panko bread crumbing with a little bit of seasoning. So then you stack those into your air fryer and that what you get. is what you get. Can I go ahead and sample you, this? You can, you can. Okay. And sometimes they're a little stringy still if you don't get them all, but I'll do it with you. Don't okay, be, cool. Don't be Moment of truth, here we go. Don't be, <laughs> and take a little bit of that beautiful. Let's see, let's see. I, I see a little string. It's pretty good. I mean, there's, let's be real. There's not a whole lot to it, mm -hmm. but it's a little bit sweet. It is sweet. Yeah. Starchy, like you said. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's really nice. I'm going to taste it without the yeah. tomato sauce. Mm. That's 
pretty good. Yeah. Okay, where can people find you? Uh, stlvegirl.com or the Center for Plant-Based Living in Kirkwood. There you go. Go ahead, give her a visit. Show her some love. Membership's just a dollar a day. As you can see, my mouth is full right now. But show her some love on social media. Center for Plant-Based Living, they're located in Kirkwood. Those are all the handles, and she really can help you add more plants to your plate. Thanks for showing us all about cardoons today. Yeah, honey. All the cardoons. <laughs> Don't go anywhere, St. Louis. We'll be right back. <laughs>